channel. My name is Rutendo. And today we're going to talk about Big Brother Africa slash Big Brother Mzansi. So word on the street is Big Brother Mzansi is coming back. Yay! I'm a diehard Big Brother fan. I've always loved Big Brother, especially Big Brother Africa. I remember season one where there was uh, Gaetano, Abby, Sharice, Tapua, Mwisho, Waruna, Zane, Alex, Stefan, who else? Bio. I think I'm not leaving anyone out. That was the first Big Brother and that was amazing. While well, I was in primary, we're not allowed to watch it, but I still, you know, <laughs> used to watch. So when it comes to Big Brother, I have been a fan since day one. Although over the years, the ratings have kind of, uh, not kind of, over the years, the ratings of Big Brother have been whack. And I guess that's why they had to discontinue Big Brother Africa. So when Big Brother Mzansi is coming back, there's a bit of hope that Big Brother Africa could have a chance. So Big Brother Mzansi, uh, Twitter has been going at it about we how we, the public, the generals, we don't want celebrities, we don't want influencers. They already have a following... Uh, I don't know if they are going to be as entertaining because maybe some will be conscious of their brand of PR and things like that. I think Big Brother is interesting when it's uh, different characters, when it's um, regular people just doing regular things. Yes, it's supposed to be entertaining, but we don't want people that are acting like pretending for the whole, just to be 90 days. I'm not sure whether it's still 90 days, but pretending for the whole 60 to 90 days. We want authentic people that are going to be real. Big Brother Mzansi, my favorite one was the first one where there was Saul. Give Saul his flowers. Saul was so entertaining. His diary sessions were so smart and you, you could pick that. No, this guy is very intelligent. That's where Manja Won and Manja and Lexi, the whole drama, they're still together. They're not. The second one, I didn't really like it much. It was just, you know, it was just okay. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this one comes about if it's true that Big Brother Africa, Big Brother Mzansi, sorry, is coming back. But we're also thirsty and hungry for Big Brother Africa. Can the sponsors do something? And we don't want, like I said before, influencers and celebrities, radio DJs, people that are already known. Like, let's give other children a chance, you know. And after you have been on Big Brother, use that platform for something like Bogelo, Anari, the Zimbabwean housemate for the um, Big Brother Hot Shots, she made a killing out of it. Yes, she was already a businesswoman, but afterwards she did manage to grow her brand and, and make it into something, you know, into something. So rather, in short, word of advice, do something. Like, don't just come out of the house and it's like you disappear. We don't know. Use that platform for something, even if you didn't win the money. But when it comes to Big Brother Africa, the franchise, it's amazing. I feel it gives people opportunities, especially now with the digital age. Then there wasn't Instagram, there wasn't any Facebook, so we, we had to call using the landline to vote. But now it's easier because also when we're watching, there are people, you know, commenting, interacting and stuff like that. But then it used to be phone calls and SMSs, I think. So it's a great platform, especially for people that also want to go into acting, into, into presenting, into business. Like you can do whatever you want with with the with the platform that that Big Brother offers. So looking forward to Big Brother Mzansi. I hope that we're going to see fresh faces, new faces, people with less than at least ten thousand followers or <laughs> less than five thousand followers. So that we have something to follow because if you're established and all, you just you know you're already a brand. So you know give other people a chance. One of my favorite Big Brothers had to be the hot shots where there was um, the Bokelos and the whole story. It's like everyone was just, you know, doing crazy things. There was Feza and O'Neill Feza and O'Neill dating. There was Bokelo and Elikim. There was um, Delish stringing all the men along and she ended up winning. For me, that there was a balance of characters everyone was just crazy in their own way but it was also entertaining and the second or rather my first favorite has to be all stars oh gosh all stars was one of the the like um most amazing seasons of big brother where it was ex-housemates that came back there was a munya from zimbabwe munya was the cat with nine lives munya had been nominated nine times and survived all the nine all the nine uh times where he was supposed to be evicted but uti ended up winning from from nigeria 
and who else was there oh they are when we show from tanzania and meryl from namibia got married i think the marriage didn't work out but you know it was worth the try it was entertaining and there was jan from mozambique who had to leave the other season because someone was sick and she came back and she was calling a i think a goat a cow or something of that sort crazy and funny at the same time but yeah like i said when it comes to big brother i'm a diehard fan when it comes to big brother niger i've really struggled to to connect i've seen one where where if i won where they were the bizolas and the tall thin tony debbie rice oh gosh i'm so, my memory is so good and who else who's that other guy yeah those type of people okay my memory is, <laughs> is acting up now please leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and let's see whether big brother mzansi just does come through see you guys on my next video bye